Well, you can be out learning and the next best thing to transform your classroom into a 3D model that takes you inside your lesson for you. We have the latest technology. It's from NBC's Art Norman in this morning's Weekend Web. Good morning. Revolutionary technology is coming to a classroom near you. I don't care if you're a medical school student or high school student. I want you to meet Greg Yedwab. He is with a company called Z Space. Welcome to NBC. Thank you very much. Pleasure now, I'm going to put on some glasses and this, tell me about this technology. I can actually look at a heart or a part of someone's body. Exactly. This is a 3D immersive virtual learning platform and it's called ZSpace and it's used in classrooms all over the nation for learning things like human anatomy, biology, wow. uh, physics, mathematics, electricity. So how does this work? You put on the glasses. That's right. You put on the glasses. Mm -hmm. Then you, you take a, a stylus, kind of like this. That's right. And you just dial it in. That's correct. The, the benefit of this platform is, and we use the word immersive, because if you notice, actually if you face the camera, there are these reflectors that are on the glasses. And our display is able to track using those reflectors on your glasses so, where you're physically looking on the display. So the glasses that I'm wearing now, you can actually see That's right. The technology lets me... It, it, lets you, um, it lets you immerse yourself in the experience. Okay. And using the stylus, you're able to reach into the experience and grab the objects and interact with them right in 3D space. So I'm looking at these biological, say for example, I want to examine a, a heart. Right. I can actually pick it up, turn it around. That's right. Dissect it. So you could actually learn about the parts of the heart and dissect the heart and see how it, in fact, some of the models allow you to see it beating in action, to see the valves in action. This is a, this, look at this video. Uh, say for example, uh, Derek Rose just tore his meniscus. Mm -hmm. I can actually look at this kind of technology in 3D. That's correct. In fact, it's even being piloted for what we call patient education in doctor's offices to allow patients to see what kind of injuries they have. What school systems are using this now? So we're a Silicon Valley startup and as a smaller company, uh, last year we decided to focus on four key markets. So we did um, New York, Florida, Texas, and California close to home. And this year we're expanding into the Midwest and all over. Chicago. The you bet. The Chicago area. Not Chicago public schools yet, although we're hopeful, okay. uh, and, but other school districts uh, in the area are um, implementing our technology as we speak. ZSpace, your website is www.zspace.com. That's easy. It is easy. <laughs> nice, thanks a lot for coming by. Are you welcome. Thank Everything you we just talked about is going to be our, on our website. We are nbcchicago.com. I'm Mark Norman for Charlie Wojciechowski, and you'll see you right here next weekend. Wow. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff. Jumping right out yes. from the computer screen. Maybe one day, you know, gone are the days of those dissection right. <laughs> moments in class and high That's school. That's right. Uh, back when we were in high school, it was the, uh, yeah. the overhead projector. Well, we actually had to dissect an inchworm when I was in high school. Pretty traumatizing. So <laughs> I would have much preferred yet. that technology. Do it in 3D. It's fine. <laughs>